I've just been informed of something. It's absolutely blown me away. On Friday, as this show ended, Chris Dem was in the queue to get tickets to the Bruce Springsteen show. Well, we had talked about this. Now, listen, Fridays when this show ends, everybody leaves and Scatter. we don't say another word <laughs> to each other. That's it. You know, it's it, the minute this show is over, it's like, all right, get, me out, of get here. out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> That's not just Friday. <laughs> <laughs> be that as it may right. <laughs> he's right he's right but i think fridays there's even more even more special special day <laughs> get out of here and get out of my way i don't want to see you for 72 <laughs> hours now biggie wasn't here on friday god bless him he was but he's back strong. don't he's back, back at 50 percent. <laughs> i've heard all the replays <laughs> all the emails have told me all i need to know <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're saying that. Mm-hmm. I was in here. It was very- Since Biggie's not here, let's talk about how stupid that party for his dog is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, let's be fair. We talked about that in front of you, too. <laughs> yeah, that party's it's stupid. stupid. <laughs> Meanwhile. A party for a dog? <laughs> you heard how upset mm-hmm. I was you had to yeah. cancel that party? Yeah. What a crazy person. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're like, it's $10 too much for hand stick them for a paddle. <laughs> That's an important piece. I yeah. need it has to stick to my hand. Please. It's for safety. The <laughs> point is this. The point is, you aren't here, but Chris Dem, as this show ended, got in the queue, and he's part of the fan club for Bruce Springsteen. Well, yeah, the, for the tickets for this particular show, the mm-hmm. E Street Band Tour of what, 2023, mm-hmm. you had to be verified first mm-hmm. so you could get early access for tickets, which right. I tra- I went through the verification process, which was complicated. What you do is you get on this site, you answer a bunch of questions. Mm-hmm. There's no credit card information, but they say Bruce Springsteen is playing, let's say, 25 cities. Mm-hmm. Rank the cities where you'd like to try to be able to buy tickets. <laughs> that, you had to do that, too? Yeah. So I picked the one closest to us, because that obviously of makes course. sense. But then it's like, what else? What's your number two? <laughs> Atlanta? <laughs> What's your number three? <laughs> Baltimore? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm only going to one. Yeah. I mean, if I can't get it I'm here, not going to buy yeah, exactly. I'm not going to Baltimore. Yeah. So then well, you have to wait, and like a day later, you get an email. You've been verified. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, for which, your city. Which your means you right. get a chance to buy tickets. <laughs> so this is just a chance to buy tickets. Correct. Right. This okay. is their brilliant idea to beat the scalpers. Correct. Yes. Then the uh, the day of shows. And so it says at 10 a.m. Eastern, mm-hmm. tickets will go on sale for your particular show for that's which right. you've been verified. Great timing for us because that's when we end. Yes. So know. we had like a few seconds before. So right. I get on. I hit the uh, the link and it says, uh, what's your password? <laughs> yeah, you should have seen this, Biggie. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. My pa-. So he get, puts in the wrong password, of course. Oh, yeah. He doesn't know it. And they're like, oh, can't verify. Try again. Try again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, are you a robot? No. <laughs> <laughs> and he was in here grousing about that. I mean, of the course. Dave thought he was helping. Yeah. Why don't you do it on your desktop? <laughs> Mm. You should have seen that little dance, too. <laughs> Don't you want to do it on your desktop? Why? Like, Why? 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 <laughs> I've got the most powerful computer in the building right here. In my hand. In his hand. He's like, this is better than my desktop. And Dave's like, well, I just think, you know, you'd have a full screen. And Christian's like, so what? <laughs> I didn't. I was testy, and I think I took it out on Dave. What an old couple <laughs> argument. <laughs> Maybe it's better in full screen. <laughs> it's not. I won't really care. <laughs> Finally, finally, well, I, question number one that Dave said. Okay, I'm just okay. I won't try. I won't try to I'll help. Just you. Sit over here. <laughs> he did. I'll watch my shows. <laughs> but then he got on. So if, yeah. So they had to email yep. me a password reset. Then they yep. had to text me a password to reset. So finally, I get in and say, "Congratulations, you're, you're in. in the queue. You're in the queue. There oh. are three thousand people in front of you. Right, three thousand. Oh. But he got in at ten oh one. That's another boy. That one really." Ticked him off because Christian goes, Well, I'm yeah, in. The time was ticking down. But Dave said, We well, got in at 10 01, so that's good enough. He's like, That's not good enough. I should have been in two minutes ago but, and beaten these 3,000 mm-hmm. people. And Dave's like, Okay, I, yeah. I, I won't okay. say. Do you hey, want me? Can hey. I bring you a laptop? <laughs> no. No, you Do you can't. want a lemonade? <laughs> no. He was testy. They were testy at each other. We were testy. And, and then, uh, uh, miracle of miracles. The queue line starts moving. It actually, you, it, you see the numbers decreasing. Mm-hmm. The, there's a, lo, a line yes. that moves across. So, like 
decreasing battery life, but this says you're moving up in the queue. And that's okay. the last. Okay. So Chris Dem says, I'm moving up in the line. The The line is moving. Yeah, I'm like 1,900. Yeah. 1,800. So he's getting down at halfway through. So, uh, so I, then he left. He's like, I'm leaving. And I said, well, I'll see you Monday. And mm-hmm. I just assumed mm-hmm. he would get tickets because he was moving. I thought, yeah. well, he's going to get tickets to the show. He just he didn't get the tickets. No, what happened was I, I went back and refreshed, looked back at my phone, and it said, oh, no, something went wrong. You want to rejoin the queue? <laughs> oh, well, now you're 50,000. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I'll rejoin. So it said, <laughs> kind of busy now. <laughs> you sure you want to rejoin the queue? There's a lot yes. of people waiting. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to stand in this queue. I kept queue. getting all these messages. It really is busy. <laughs> Do you want us to notify you when it's not as busy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll be great. We'll talk to you Tuesday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's when it won't be so busy. Yeah. And so you didn't get tickets to no, that show. No, I never show. did. And then I got, me- you know, I was getting messages through social media, email from other friends who are Springsteen fans. Some got shut out. Some got in, but they were paying Six hundred dollars. They're paying eight hundred dollars for a seat. Well, that's the thing, they and get, that's the dynamic pricing model, which mm-hmm. I, I, I don't. Like I hope that. it's the last we see it. Yeah, that. that's crazy. I just don't like that. I mean, the idea they, the way I understand it is, they're trying to beat yes. scalpers. But why penalize the people who are legit ticket buyers? But are they saying that? It's supply and demand is what they're saying. You're right. Some people are paying four mm-hmm. and five thousand yeah. dollars for tickets yeah. at other right. venues. That's crazy. Uh, what about your second and third cities? Is there any shot at those? Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> Will we see you? In I Baltimore? didn't even think about Atlanta. Did, uh, I was going to say. Will we see you in Atlanta? I didn't think about Miami. Uh, it'd be great if they just charged your card and gave you a city. <laughs> <laughs> well, see yeah. you in Miami. <laughs> huh? See you in Duluth. <laughs> On a, Tuesday, <laughs> on a Tuesday night. <laughs> Tuesday. What? That'll be $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, it's dynamic pricing. <laughs> you didn't read the fine print. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bruce is trying to do something yeah. about scalping. Anyways, your card's on file. You were good. See you there. <laughs> Have what? fun. Yeah. Have fun in Duluth. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I if you try no to idea. sell these, we'll arrest you for scalping. Yeah. <laughs> I had no clue yeah. that you didn't get that. You could. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, sure. how many people got tickets mm-hmm. first run. You know, not yeah. secondary market yeah. who are, when they're at the show. Well, you know, I had because uh, now Ticketmaster will do that verified resale too. Mm-hmm. Yes, but they, they do. They won't let you sell below ticket value, which hurts too if you're just trying to get rid of some tickets. Oh, they won't let you. The, they'll like basically they'll let you maybe sell a little below value. Mm-hmm. But like I had a friend trying to sell some and she couldn't get rid of them because. They were expensive tickets, yes. but Ticketmaster wouldn't let her go lower than a certain so point. So you can't undersell? Not, that was but, not me. by a lot. Huh. Yeah. So it's got to be she was very like close almost, to the ticket Yeah, price. she was like, I'm going to go buy one, get one, just to make some money off of this. Mm-hmm. And she never sold them because it was wouldn't, like, wouldn't mm, can't go that low. Our friend and attorney, Lisa Lanier, our official attorney here, of course, got tickets. You know, I, I don't know. You may have I, had a team of paralegals. She probably did. Mm-hmm. Sitting in the waiting room. Like everybody <laughs> in the virtual queue. Drop what you're doing. <laughs> Are we suing, the queue. Drop, drop what you're Are doing. Are suing Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> I don't know. I'm fighting to get a guy out of death of death row. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> but it's tonight at midnight. I don't care. The governor said he need, he'll uh, happy to make the call. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> I'm on hold with the governor. Too bad. No, I'm in the queue. <laughs> well... And I'm surprised you didn't use your pull as a DJ, a rock and roll DJ. <laughs> yeah. You've been spinning Bruce Springsteen for 40 years. That's right. And they didn't let you. They didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't ask. Oh, <laughs> that's upsetting. See, that's a, well, you don't get that face-to-face contact. Yeah, you can't name drop in the queue. Exactly. <laughs> you can. If you had been in a real queue, you could have yeah. said, I'm Christopher Dim that is had come to the front mm-hmm. of the line. You're the rock and roll trivia expert. Mm-hmm. We know you. Of course. Well, Lisa got her tickets, and she was just... <laughs> lorded over everybody just just the party is coming mm-hmm. to town she said you know the show's not for seven months any of y'all going <laughs> everybody's like no <laughs> <laughs> and then she says she emails everybody and she goes we're having a huge dinner and a party before the I'm show buying. <laughs> i'm buying who wants in so i write back and i some people thought this was cheesy but i wrote back and said i'm not going to the show but if you want to buy me dinner i'll be glad <laughs> Yeah. To go. Uh, I have no interest in the show, mm-hmm. but I'll I'll, I'll go. take a free dinner to a nice place. You and I, and I, and if, if you're buying dinner, I'll show up. And, and then everybody's leave. like, look at this chode. He didn't even try to get tickets. And now he's going to suck off. Glom onto a yeah. Lisa Lanier's teat. 
<laughs> That's what they should call a teat party. We got a teat party going on. Well, I had a chode race going in my head, and both of you finished first and second. <laughs> Two of us did that. Was it a photo finish? <laughs> Two of us did it. I won't name the other colleague, but both of us were like replying. I'll be there. <laughs> huh? Oh, you got- there, 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 nine. <laughs> so you got tickets to the Springsteen show? No, no, no. but I'll come and eat. <laughs> I didn't even try to get tickets to the show. <laughs> I am so mm-hmm. upset for my dear friend Chris Dim. Who it's didn't unfortunate. Know. Yeah, I hate that. I would have liked to have seen the show. Well, you still might be able to. You're right. Anything's possible. I'm flashing back to, I'm trying to remember, I think it was the Tunnel of Love Tour, 87, 88. Mm-hmm. And I was living... In North Carolina, and the tour came through the Dean Smith Center at Chapel Hill. Legendary show. That show it's is a great legendary. Show. Yes. And um, at the radio station where I was working at the time, we owned the owner of the company. It was just um, one guy owned the one station. Mm-hmm. You know, th- those times are gone. Yeah. But it was one guy, and he owned a, a stretch limousine. Yeah. And so uh, for big shows, we would take the limousine yeah. to the shows. Well, I got to drive our winning couple. Mm hmm. To the show, and I was just going to sit out in the parking lot with the other limo driver. Really, that's at the it. Dean yeah. Smith yeah. Center, and somebody walked up and tapped on the glass and said, "Do you need tickets?" And I said, "Sure." Yeah. I think yeah. I paid fifty bucks wow. for like night of show. I wasn't even planning on going. Those days are gone, aren't they? Yeah, you know, I had a, when I first started in this business, yeah, you know, they had you know, of course, it was all physical tickets. Uh, yeah, then, that's too. the oh, thing. Yeah. I started in this business. I had no idea that tickets were so plentiful. We had a Billy Joel show come through. Mm-hmm. And somebody said, you want tickets to the Billy Joel? So I said, yeah, I want tickets to the Billy Joel. So they said, sign up. And I signed up. I'm sorry, I got a little something, a little grit in my teeth. Is that stick them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little something going on. Harder to swish and swallow there? <laughs> I was eating a crunchy peanut butter pre-show. Oh. Apologies. Back Anyhow, on that? Yeah. I'm Never back. mind. I'm back on air. Okay. So they said, Billy Joel show, sign up for tickets. I signed up. Nobody ever told me I got tickets. I came in the Monday after the show. They were in my box. And I was like, what is it? And they were great seats. Oh, we used to have boxes. That's right. Yeah, and I went yeah, to my box yeah, for all my cubbies. messages. I, I never got any messages. So I was really surprised to see an envelope in there. It was Billy Joel tickets. They were like, why didn't you go? I said, well, nobody told me that I even had them. They're like, oh, yeah, if you sign up, you're going to get the tickets. Yeah. And that was my first. I couldn't. Yeah, work. we used to have sign-up sheets. Those days are completely gone. You Remember know, not- how many, when the monster tr- sh- uh, trucks would come to town? Yes. We yes. would get a stack of like 500 tickets. Yeah, that's all over now. That. Yeah, that's that's all over. The, the one thing, and I've ad- adapted to it, but is I miss the physical ticket. I do too. I mean, that was- I, I miss that. I, I miss having that mm-hmm. ticket. Yeah, in your hand. Yeah. It's your ticket. You know, now it's probably safer because it's on your phone. You can't lose it. You know, it's there unless mm-hmm. it gets swallowed somehow and you can prove you had it. But. Anyway, I just, I am lamenting this because, well, first of all, Chris Dem missed the show when Springsteen canceled. Oh, you're right. That's but, right. What, four it, years ago? Five? Yeah, we had five years probably. We had a controversial bathroom bill, and he was one of the first artists to say, okay, I'm not doing this. You're not playing that state. And man. then Chris Dem went to Virginia to see him, and he got hurricaned out. Correct. There was so few. <laughs> it's just not meant. It's like it's Yeah, not, it's like we're just jinxed. And there's no bigger fan, and you yeah. are just completely jinxed on this. I am very – I just took it for granted that you got tickets for that show. And, see, I'm supposed to live by the four agreements, and one of them is never assumed. What's that? I'm – well – Wait a minute, wait a minute. The what? There's something. There's a book called The Four Agreements, and I have never read it, but I've heard great things about it. It's and just like that love language or men are from Venus? It's similar. You live your life by the four agreements. You agree never – to ass- the biggest one to me is you never assume anything. You never, ever mm. assume. Then there are like three others, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forget. It's like a pretty good book. It's a big deal, though. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> Trucker Dave, you're talking about Springsteen. Did you get tickets? Go ahead. Yeah, I, I got tickets. P1 listener here, huge fan. My wife is even bigger fan, you guys. She loves you guys to death, oh, as I do. Thank you. But, a- but anyway... Fan. You're welcome. Uh, but anyway, uh, it was a um, Born in the USA tour. He was playing Giant Stadium for three uh, nights. Mm-hmm. And I worked an hour and a half away from where I went back to go get tickets. I get in line. The line is like halfway around the damn uh, city block. Mm-hmm. And then like 30, 40 people behind me is my ex-girlfriend. And I'm engaged to my wife now 35 years. And when I got to the line... To the window, I was able to get eight tickets. And then five people behind me, I found out that they were only allowing two tickets because the tickets were going so quick. 
she had a freaking conniption fit and she started crying because she was a huge uh, yeah. Bruce Springsteen fan. So I got eight tickets, she got two, and that, that was one of the best shows I've ever saw. Uh -huh. ever. I thought you were going to say you took pity on her and gave yeah. her some of your tickets. You didn't. Oh, heck no. She used to cheat on me all the time. <laughs>